everyone. My name is Eric Hopkins, a.k.a. Joe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So Paramount has had some success with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle franchise over the last year or so with the release of Mutant Mayhem uh, last year. And we're going to be getting a sequel to that as well as a uh, tie-in series on uh, on Paramount Plus as well. Uh, but with the success of the Ninja Turtle franchise, we're now getting a little bit of an expansion from Paramount as it has now been announced that a live-action rated R Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie is in the works from producer Walter Hamada. Uh, after the success of last year's animated film, The Mutant Mayhem, uh, Paramount Pictures is keeping turtle power going by putting a new feature project into development. This one, however, will go beyond the realm of the all-ages material the long-standing property is known for and instead go into gritty, R-rated territory. Paramount is developing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin, adapting a popular storyline seen in the recent IDW comics as a live-action feature with the intent for making it as an R-rated film. Uh, let's see here. The Last Ronin is about a is about as terrifying as a turtle's tale you can get. Set at a totalitarian future New York City, the comic miniseries told of how the turtles and Master Splinter are killed off one by one by the grandson of the villainous Shredder and synthetic ninjas. One turtle manages to survive, barely, and vows to exact bloody vengeance. One trick of the book was that it wasn't clear for a long while, at least, which of the turtles lived as the survivor had the weapons of all four. Now, obviously, doing a little bit of research for this video, I did find out which of the turtles uh, survived to, to become the last Ronin. But I won't spoil it here for those of you who have not read the book or have not seen the story to kind of give that element of surprise for you if the movie decides to kind of uh, give it a bit of a, a surprise for those people who have not read the comic. But from what I can tell, this comic was outstanding, and, and I need to check it out because it, there was also a prequel slash sequel series uh, as well as well as there's going to be an upcoming sequel uh, comic book as well. Uh, so they're definitely expanding upon this storyline that was uh, uber successful in the comics storyline. As you can see here in the uh, in the photo here, we've got uh, a Ronin turtle, the last one to survive with all the weapons, as the article mentioned. Of uh, all the all of his brothers, so we it, it, it's it, I I I thought the the selection of who the turtle was uh, in the comic at least uh, made a lot of sense considering uh, the the personality uh, and, and all that sort of thing. And that's about all I'll say about it. I don't want to ruin much more than that. Uh, but uh, yeah, this uh, this 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 story definitely feels darker, very gritty. Uh, it's it's not something like we're used to seeing with the Ninja Turtles uh, on film. It's usually more you know for kids and things like that. Uh, obviously, the first couple. Uh, Ninja Turtles movies, well, at least the first one back in 1990 was a little bit darker, a little grittier, and it was it's considered by a lot of fans one of the, as one of the best turtle movies of all time. It's kind of a classic uh, in a lot of us uh, 80s, 90s kids' uh, hearts, and uh, this could definitely kind of tie back into more of that and actually go a little even darker if it's going to go for the R rating. Uh, so this could be very violent, but the thing I really love about this is they're finally going back to live-action Ninja Turtle movies. So that's a great thing. And this is a this is a take that we've never seen on film before. So this right here could be a big time uh, movie that the uh, Paramount could be putting out here, and I think it could be very successful amongst the Ninja Turtle uh, fan base, no doubt about it. And I'm looking forward to seeing this because this is uh, definitely a a, a, a a place they've never taken this franchise before, and I'm ex I'm excited to see where they're taking all these new stories and stuff like that. And, and if this is successful, hopefully it'll mean we'll get an actual Ninja Turtles uh, series. In live action again, uh, another uh, set of films because uh, I thought those were the best ones. The animated stuff I kind of like, uh, but but the the CGI stuff they did in the Michael Bay uh, Ninja Turtles movies and stuff weren't that great for me in my opinion. I mean, seven foot tall, bulletproof turtles, it just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, but like I said, I'll give that movie credit a little bit for trying to do uh, Krang and the uh, Techno Drove and Bebop and Rocksteady, which the other ones did not uh, try to do early on in the '90s. So they tried to do a little bit with the mutants. Uh, Kind of, it was like you know Toka and Razor, which uh, which were cool, but at the same time, to me, I wanted to see Bebop and Rocksteady, you know. Uh, but uh, this here is going to be something completely different. It's going to be a, a whole new uh, take on the Ninja Turtles franchise, and I can't wait to see what they do with it. But what do you guys think? Are you excited for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: The Lo The Last Ronin? Uh, have you read the comic? What did you think of that? Is it uh, worthy of a big budget live action adaptation or well, we're getting it apparently so comment below let me know what you guys think and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and until my next video guys take care and god bless